Oh, by the way, I am dad styled out right now. I gotta show you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got the dad shorts on, the dad sandals. We're getting it. Dad hat, even got some dad glasses right here. Really, this is like the most swagged out you can get as a dad without getting a ticket for it. Um, I'm kind of falling out of love with photography. Just because I'm doing it a lot and I'm doing the types that I don't enjoy. Today, I'm gonna do some photography. Um, but I'm gonna try to do the kind that I like to do. So I got a GoPro right here. Got my camera. I'm gonna try to shoot some different stuff. I already hear a bunch of animals and see a bunch of stuff moving, so... This 85 millimeter is not gonna be far enough to reach out to most of them. But I'll try to get some photos. I don't shoot with this 85 very much. I mean, this is like a pretty... This is a pretty tight lens for doing nature stuff, but... I figured I might be able to get some interesting looking shots here. I'm shooting with the A7 III right now. This is one of my favorite cameras I've ever shot with. I do like the touchscreen autofocus on here. It works really, really well. I mean, right now there's not really anything special I'm seeing, but this is like a part of, uh, this is the part of trying to get back to the roots of like why I started taking photos to begin with. I saw things I thought were cool and I was like, hey, I want to get a picture of that. But it was all about me doing things that I wanted to do. Whereas now I do a lot of things that I don't particularly care for, but it pays and that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with taking photos for money. But when you do it, it becomes a job and it's very, very easy to, like I said, fall out of love with photography. My white pasty shins are burning. I think I just ran into a nettle. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that feels a little better. So one thing that can be kind of frustrating when it comes to any type of photography, but specifically photography that you can't really manipulate a whole lot, is the X factor, right? Like the light out here is not exactly what I would like it to be. It's a little too harsh. There's too many dark shadows. There's things that you can't always control. And uh, one thing I can't control right now is the fact that I'm using an 85 millimeter, which is a prime lens. I can't zoom it. It doesn't go as far as I want it to. And it also doesn't focus to do like macro photography. So I've got to kind of maneuver around that. But I'm trying to just find some cool photos here and there. I'm just frustrated because I feel like I'm not having fun. I feel like I want different gear to do what I want to do. But part of photography is like doing what you can do with the gear that you have, not necessarily going out and getting the gear that you want. Sometimes what I run into is like, oh, I wish I had this thing to make my photography better, which is not necessarily true. There are things that make it easier, but better is subjective for sure. And gear doesn't make anything better. It just makes things easier. You know, there's like a million reasons that I don't shoot outdoors in the woods like this anymore but the fact of the matter is i did start doing photography in places like this I, I was like oh i like being outside a lot so let me uh take pictures outside and that's what i'll start doing that's how i'll learn how to take pictures is i'll just take pictures of trees and animals and scenery and things like that and uh i quickly moved on to shooting photos of people and i started doing street photography pretty heavily but this is how i started taking photos so i figure if I'm running into issues like, hey, I feel like I'm bored with photography in general, then maybe, just maybe, if I kind of like go back to where I first started taking photos, I can kind of start falling back in love with it, I guess. Is that a tent right there? Yeah, it looks like an old tent. I mean, it could be that somebody's still here, but this looks pretty, uh, pretty old, or maybe it's just wet. I don't know. Something slightly unexpected. Always fun to take photos of stuff like this, I think. Ooh, that's kind of weird. I want to try to get a frame within a frame of that that was better than what I did before, because I didn't think it was that great. While we're on the topic of generic photos, let's go ahead and take another one, which is the looking down of a, a log. That one's done a lot, but I mean, for good reason. It does look kind of cool. Oh, there's a photo I can get. If I don't want creepy taking a picture of them. Let's see here. Oh, if they come up like that, that'd be kind of cool. I think I got it. 
Not the best, but not the worst. All right, I'm gonna keep walking down the river because these plants are making me itchy. Oh yeah, that is definitely, is this a nettle? It looks, like, oh, yep, it is. This is a nettle, um, stinging nettle. I don't know if you can tell on this GoPro or not, but there are little hairs hanging off of that. And these little hairs right here have a poison in them, if I remember correctly. And uh, that's what causes it. Oh man, my knee just brushed that and it's on fire right now. And one more photo of this thing right here while, while I'm here. Okay, I am not a shorts guy. I should not have worn shorts. It's just hot today. So it's difficult for me to like try to find photos in what I'm around all the time, I guess. Like this river, I'm on all the time. I fish on this river all the time. I live right over right back down the road from this river. It doesn't have that spark to me like new places do. It feels more difficult for me to find photos and things when I'm seeing it all the time, you know? When I lived in Okinawa, Japan, it's like one of the most beautiful places in the world. There's coral, there's mountains, there's beaches, there's so much amazing, colorful, awesome things going on. But people that live there and people that grow up there oftentimes will kind of overlook that after a while. Ohio has its own beauty like everywhere else. I'm just having trouble seeing it at the moment. Okay, I think I'm gonna head back towards the car, but if I see any good photos, I'm gonna stop, get some shots, and then I'll put that in the video also. So before I leave, I just want to point out that uh, this weirds me out a little bit. It's just, it's weird to me. It looks like children's clothes and stuff, but it's, everything's like soaking wet. There's like some electric cord or something like that that was plugged in there. It just seems odd that this would just be here on this path that's kind of regularly traveled. You don't see a whole lot of stuff like this here, like where it's just abandoned. It's just, it's just weird. It seems a little wasteful if they actually legitimately just left it there. I don't always think it's something nefarious, but you know, it could be like somebody got into an argument, so they decided to leave in the middle of their camping and just left all their stuff there. I'm gonna call this the end of the video uh, because I'm back in my car and I'm getting ready to leave. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this like POV adventure photography thing. Um, I don't usually do a whole lot of camera talking in public. And I feel weird doing it in the woods because when I did run into people, they knew I was talking to myself because I was alone and I was talking. Doing like street photography or like photographing events and things like that, probably I wouldn't have a problem doing that as much. So we'll see. Just let me know what you think. This is also just kind of a test to see if these three cameras work because this is a small camera that I wouldn't usually use, but it's super lightweight and easy. So we'll just, we'll see if I like this or not. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Here's a toy.